Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, I'm going to go through a few different strategies you can implement starting today to improve your AdWords campaign's performance. And this is, keep in mind, this is high level 30,000 foot stuff. It's not super advanced. It's just the basic stuff you need to do to make an AdWords campaign work. <laughs> All right, so you're logged into your AdWords account. Today we're going to go over four very basic strategies that you should implement immediately to help optimize your AdWords campaigns and improve your performance. It's really simple stuff, guys. I'm just going to I'm going to burn right through it with you. So, go into your campaign. We're going to be in our white label campaign. First things first, you're going to come up here. We're going to go down to well, actually, let's choose the date the time frame. So, you want to do a a a, a decent sized data sampling um this campaign, we're so random with it. We just turn it on and off whenever we need leads. So we don't really just let it run. So this time we're going to do all-time data for this campaign. But if you're running AdWords consistently, I would just do last 30 days. And you should have enough data. If not, try last 60 or whatever. And then anyways, after that, so choose your, your uh, time frame here. And then we're going to go down. The first optimization trick we're going to do is device bids. Go under devices. And you can see here you're going to have computer, tablet, a mobile phone they're pretty self-explanatory and you're going to look at your clicks versus your conversions if you don't if you don't see these columns here don't sweat you can easily add them just come right here modify columns this is how you're going to be able to do this across the entire campaign modify columns performance you just check the boxes you want to see same with conversions and you hit apply and you'll see what i'm seeing here this is pretty basic i mean you're gonna you're gonna increase bids on what's sending you leads you can see here we've done that and you're going to decrease on what's not working well for you or not sending leads or you're wasting money or you're getting leads for too high of a price. We just have mobile turned off on this campaign because we didn't want mobile traffic for this. We have tablets here, but we just don't have the data to, you can see that's not right. So we don't have the data here to uh, make adjustments with that. So we're just going to leave that how it is. But moral of the story is with device bids come in here you're going to look at computer tablet mobile you're going to adjust your device bid based on the conversions okay so obviously we're going to up bid our high converting stuff we're going to decrease bids on our low converting stuff and how you do that is you just come over to bid adjustment do increase or decrease depending on your optimization that you're doing and that's it and then you hit save really 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 simple next thing we're going to do we're going to come back out to the home page we're going to go into keyword bids. So you come down to keywords at the campaign level. If Google decides to work. And you can see here we have an auto bid strategy set up. So I'm going to cover two topics here. Most of you guys are probably using manual bid strategies. So you'll be able to just come in here and change keyword bids. But anyways, how you're going to optimize your keywords. You're going to come here, keywords at the campaign level. You're going to sort by clicks. You should see all, all the clicks you got. And you're basically just going to do the exact same thing with the device page. You're going to go down at the keyword level, look at the stats. Okay, this is converting. It's giving me $50 leads. Love it. 2.6 position. That's really good. We can do a little bit better. And you're going to incrementally increase your bids on what's winning for you. And you're going to decrease your bids on what's not winning for you. Okay, so, so if we have like a keyword here that has like 10 clicks and no leads, you're either going to, you have two options. You can either decrease the bid by a few dollars or you can just pause the keyword. I usually pause keywords if they have 15 clicks and no leads. Some people do it at 5, some people do it at 10. There really is no set standard for it. It's really up to you. I just want to I want to stop the bleeding as fast as possible to optimize the campaign as fast as possible when running AdWords. So that's really it for this for keywords. Really simple as I said, come in here, up bid what's what's winning for you, decrease bids on or pause on what's losing for you. And that's it. So we have auto bids so you can, see we can't individually do keywords here. So if we wanted to if we wanted to um, increase bids, I would have to go into the settings under bidding and, and raise my maximum CPC limit that I have. And the limit I have right now is 3337. And you would be thinking, well, what about the decrease bids? How do I do that? You can't. Unfortunately, when you're using an auto bid, you just can't do it. If you're getting killed, though, with a keyword and it's not converting and you're using auto bid, just pause it. It's, it's really that easy. Okay? So that's tactic number two, keyword bids. And the next one we're going to go to is device bids. And for that, I like, this is my personal opinion, I like to take it at, at the ad group level. And just go into each ad group and just start doing it instead of just doing it at the campaign level. And it's just easier for me. I like structure. 
So you might be thinking, what the hell are you talking about? How are we going to optimize ad text? Really simple. Go into your ad group one at a time. Come up here to ads and extensions. These are all the ads you'll see in that specific ad group. Same deal, guys, that we just went through with the other two tactics. We're going to look at the clicks. You can see we don't have data here, but we're going to look at what ads are converting. And the CTR is important, but conversions is the most important. So we want to we want to optimize what based off of conversions. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep your ads that are converting and the ads that are not converting. You're going to pause, which is how you do that. Just come down here, pause. And you're going to create new ads with different copy than the ones you paused to run against the winning ads. You want to do that every 30 to 60 days. It really depends. I know people who do it every week. It, it just depends on your ad copy and what your conversion rates are. So in a lead gen campaign, I, I get this question a lot. What should you be shooting for conversion wise? You should always be shooting for at least 25%. I know that might sound high, but if you're using proper AdWord structures and landing pages, 25% for lead generation is not uncommon. It's, it's fairly common for us. We have pages that convert it over 50. So that's what you should be shooting for. Ecom is a whole different story. The, I think the average e-commerce rate is like 1% or something like that, but that's a whole different animal for another time. And we have a, a buddy of ours, Dustin Miller at my PPC Pros, who does e-com really, really well. I think he's coming out with some training, so make sure you check out Dustin. Okay, so that's number three, ad text optimization. Keep the winners, pause the losers, replace losers with new ads. Really simple. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come back out here, and we're going to go to the campaign level. So to go back out to campaign level, you can see here we're still in one ad group. You're going to come over here in your main account navigation, click the actual campaign name and now we're back at the campaign level we're gonna go back into keywords and this optimization tactic number four the last one is adding and removing negative keywords I'm sorry adding winning keywords and negativing out crap keywords so how do we do that okay you're gonna come up here you see these are our account keywords right here we're gonna come over to search terms search terms now you might be thinking what the hell are search terms Simply put, search terms are the raw query typed into Google search bar that triggered your ad. And that's these keywords right here. And as with everything in optimization, guys, all we're going to do is pause what's not working well for us and add what's working well. Okay? So when it comes to getting rid of keywords, you can see here we excluded this keyword, even though you might think, oh, why, man? It gave you a lead. I'm like, okay, well, it's a software lead. It's not a great lead. So what we would do is take the root keyword that we don't want to show software and we would come up to negative keywords add paste we didn't copy it but software and we want to do that as phrase match because we don't want Google to show our ad for any any search query that has the word software in it. We just don't want to do that. And you want to make sure you choose campaign level. You can do campaign or ad group. We want to choose campaign. So by adding this as phrase match, we're telling Google, I don't want our ad to be triggered with any search query in Google that has the word software in it. Then you would hit save. And that's how you add the negative keyword to that. That's how you add the negative root negative keyword, I should say. So if you just want to, like, say you're looking through your search and report and you're like, oh, wow, this is doing really well. I want to add this keyword. I'm currently not bidding on it. You click it, add this keyword. Now it auto adds it as broad match. Don't do that. Okay. Either switch the match type to phrase or exact. I always do exact. That's just me. You can do phrase, which is simply brackets around it for exact. It's going to drop it in the proper ad group. Hit save. And you just added a winning keyword that you weren't currently bidding on before. Now, if you want to negative something out of the search terms report, you would just come down there's nothing really here I want a negative but let's say we wanted to do this entire keyword negative you would come up here you check it come up here add as negative keyword do it at the campaign level it automatically makes it exact match like remember I said the neg adding negative keywords the root keywords we go under negative keywords to do that the root keyword is different than what you're doing here all right so this we're just taking out of the search terms report this entire keyword and just saying Google I don't ever want to show for this exact keyword again and you're going to come up here campaign level. It, you can see here it's going to drop it. And you hit save. And that's it. So that's how you add winning keywords and you get rid of losing keywords. And obviously, guys, this is a shitty example. I only have, what, like 13 terms in here. Usually, if you have a decent campaign, you're going to have 100 or more search terms to sort through. 
Well, you're going to see all kinds of crap in here that you're going to have to get rid of. So just just go down the list one at a time, saying like saying things, see things you don't want, like this. And then you would come up here and you just add all your negatives, campaign level, save, and you're going to add them all. That's how you would do it. And the same thing with your winners. Choose your winners, add this keyword, and you'll be able to add them. Just hit save. Or, well, do the match types first. Remember, you don't want to add them as broad match. Change them to exact, and then it'll drop them in the proper ad groups. Hit save, and that's it. So that's it. Four optimization tactics. Device bids, keyword bids, ad text adjustments. You want to always be running split tests. And you should have three to four ads in every ad group. That's just my opinion. I think it works the best. You always be testing different copy and adding winning keywords and removing crap keywords. So four optimization tactics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure if you have a question about any of these optimization tactics at all, drop it in the comments below this video. I'd love to help you out. Other than that, check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys. Uh -huh.